first off, I'd like to thank everybody that took the time out to try and go to that comment that I left on the Formula One channel about Abu Dhabi 2021. You know, when Hamilton was ripped off of getting his eighth world title, making him the all-time world champion, the champion of all time. I apologise for sending you over there and putting you through that because it's a very difficult watch. It's traumatic. It was a traumatic experience. And I don't believe that that is an exaggeration. Seriously, when you go back and you watch that and you really care, it bothers you still to this day, man. So I apologise for sending you over there. For some of you that might watch it again. I got a couple of comments about it. Um, one guy says, watching that back, it's just amazing how much of a fight Hamilton actually put up. Considering the ties it was, it was on. But anyway, I thought let's do it again. And let's go to another one. So I've searched Abu Dhabi 2021, as you can see right now. And we've got WTF1 has put a short up. And I put it so the videos were uploaded within one month. This one was uploaded two weeks ago. This, this, listen to this, man. Listen to Kevin Magnuson. And the guy even says, this must be the WTF1 guy. He says, I don't know if I should ask you this. Why would he say that? I don't know if I'm allowed to ask you. Really? Really? Where would that come from? Where would the doubt be to say that? I don't know if I'm allowed to ask you this. Weird. But anyway, listen. Listen to Kevin Magnuson's answer to that question, man. As a spectator, I don't know if I'm allowed to ask this, but Abu Dhabi 2021, did you think it was right or did you think it was wrong with what happened? Well, I was a spectator in, two, in 2021. So um, I was watching and I have to say, I didn't feel that, it was right, but I felt the right man won the championship. So I was kind of split. As a spectator, as a spectator, I don't know if I'm allowed to ask, this, allowed to ask this. 2021, did you think it was right? He didn't did think, think it was, it was right. With what happened? He didn't think it was right, but he thinks the right man won. Now, that's irrelevant. That is irrelevant. Isn't it? We all know that's irrelevant. Just because you want somebody to win. It doesn't mean it's right that they do. If you're being torn, then there's hate there. This is your sport. If your sport is going to cheat to make somebody win and you think that's okay because you want them to win, there's hate there. Because if it was my sport, I don't care if I want my team to win. I don't want them to win by cheating. I want them to win by playing the sport properly because I love the sport. I want them to win legitimately. Kevin Magnussen don't care about his own sport. He cares more about Lewis losing and Max winning than he does about his own sport following the rules of the game, man. It's ridiculous. So I'm going here, right? Well worded. I'm replying to this. And I've already written out this reply, so I should just be able to copy and paste. He stated that he didn't get, no, he didn't feel. Let's change that. He didn't feel it was right. Why? Because it was wrong. Check out this video by Fixed. And I've got a video link there about the safety car rules this time. So I'm going to post that. Yeah? And I'm going to do it here too, as a, my own comment. No, that's a reply. As my own comment. Just change that again so it's not wrong. Fixed. Okay, and underneath I'm going to put hashtag fixed. I've been informed that you should put hashtag fixed. So if this is boring, but you know what I mean? These things might get boring from time to time. So I'm posting that. This is on WTF1's channel. It's got 183 comments so far. So far. Lewis deserved to win Abu Dhabi 2021 Grand Prix. Max deserved to win the Drivers' Championship. This is the correct answer. Jeez, man, this is really... Oh, absolutely right. Absolutely right. This so, this bothers me so much, man. This really burns me, man. Silverstone, Baku in Italy. Look at all these comments, man. This is disgusting behaviour by these people. I'm disliking every single one. Look how YouTube take away the dislike thing now. These people are clowns, man. Idiotic people.
I'm, I'm, I can't, I'm not going to do it again because I'll get barred, won't I? I'm not going to do anything again. I'm going to leave them comments there like that. I'm going to put a link to this in the description. It's got 3,300 likes, 183 comments. So if you want to do it again, this is on WTF1's channel. This guy's got 106 million followers. Here's his videos. We all know who this guy is. So I'm going to do it there. I'm going to do it again as well. I'm going to continue doing this. And the people that want to just jump on and just jump to them comments and like them and mention fixed and get him over, get them over there or anybody else as well. I feel a bit guilty. I feel like I should be saying other people too, promoting other people's channels. But at the end of the day, it's all about Abu Dhabi 2021. And Fix is the only one that's just maintaining the, fo the focus on that point. Other people are, like say, F Wonderful or Wonderful. I feel like I should promote his channel too. So, I mean, I feel a little bit guilty. But I'm just going gonna, 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 gonna to do this. And I'm doing it for the reason I said I'm doing it for. To get people to understand why what happened is a disgrace. You know? Right, okay, I'm going to put this one up. And if you can get yourself over there to like that comment, I'll put a link in the description. Go over there, like the comment, mention fixed, make your own comment if my comment's not there. I don't know if I've been barred on his channel or not. I've definitely commented on his channel before, so there's a possibility. So you let me know if the comment's not there, and I'll, I'll do it somewhere else too. All right? I'm out of here.